What are the good approaches for handling dates in spreadsheets? Dates in spreadsheets are stored in a single column. While this seems the most natural way to record dates, it actually is not the best practice and we will see this as we continue along in this section. Excel can turn things that aren't dates into dates. For example, names or identifiers like MAR1, DEC1, OCT4. It is much safer to store dates with year, month, day in separate columns. The spreadsheets application will display dates in a seemingly correct to human observer at least, but how it actually handles and stores the dates may be problematic. Next slide. So as part of this lesson in this section, we have an exercise and our challenge um, in this exercise is um, to pull the month, day, and year out of the date. So we are required to create a tab called Dates in our data spreadsheet and copy the plot three table from the 2014 tab. And we're doing this because remember, in the, um, in the formatting data tables um, section, we spoke about keeping track of our analysis and we always have to ensure that we create a new file with our cleaned um, or analyzed data or so that we are able to keep track of what we did so we do not want to mess up the the raw data because we always have to keep the raw data raw we shouldn't touch or work on it because we will not be able to backtrack or refer to what what it was or what it looked like in its original state so it's very important to have um, to work on whatever new um, nuance or whatever new um, thing that you want to work on in a separate um, tab or even just copying it the data and working on a different um, on a, in a separate column so you you're expected to look at this so you're expected to extract month day and year from the dates in the date collector column into new columns. The differences that I could note um, from the two tabs was that um, the formats, the formatting of the dates was different in plot three under the 2014 tab, it wasn't the same as the rest. And so in order, before we even um, try to work on the data, I remember our rule of thumb, we are meant to copy so that we do not manipulate or work on the original data. We need to keep the raw data raw. And we've already created the dates tab. And this is where we are. It's already here, but you can always um, have it pasted. It's up to you. Here it is. So I'll delete this because it's already here. And then what we are required to do is to extract the year, month, and day. And so the first thing we're going to do is actually going to, we're actually going to type year. extract because the year is not showing here we're not sure what year 
was this. So we need to ensure that each item has its own column and therefore I will work on it and then you will see as I go along then I'll expect you to try it on your own as well and work around it and keep practicing. And so I'll try it again with the dates that's following um, so that you just see and I'll walk you through again. So what you have to do is type equal and then write year, open brackets, click on the cell um, on the date that you want to actually extract or retrieve and then close brackets and then press enter. It's going to show you it's going to do it again and then we, we go to month open brackets we click on cell a4 you, you can even type it if you want to but clicking is better in case you make an error and then we close bracket and then we hit enter let me do it again with um, without clicking this time and I'll just type it. I'll go equal to day, open brackets, cell A4, in close brackets, and then enter. I'm still getting the same results. See, day 8 of the first month, um, the 18th day, of the second month because we didn't know the year we now have it retrieved because we used this um, formula so you always, you always have to ensure that um, it's on general so that it gives you um, the right um, output because if it's not for instance I click on here 2015 and I go to number for instance it's going to give me a value so we want it to be just be a general number because we're looking for the year um, of when this um, update or, or when this was actually collected so I'll go and click on general again so you can practice this and try and find out um, and try and play around with it and even use it in your own data and see what comes out of it Next slide. For this exercise, you're also required to make sure that the new columns are formatted as a number and not as a date. You can see that even though we expected the year to be 2014, the year is actually 2015. As you go through um, this exercise. And what happened here is that the field assistant who collected the data for year 2014 initially forgot to include their data for plot 3 in this data set. 
they came back in 2015 to add the missing data into the data set and entered the dates for plot 3 without the year. And so Excel automatically interpreted the year as 2015, the year the data was entered into the spreadsheet and not the year the data was collected. And thereby the spreadsheet program introduced the error in the data sets without the field assistant realizing. So therefore it's very important to ensure that you have the columns so that it's easy to read and easy to spot if there are errors in your data set. Next slide. Next slide. When you look closely at this table, for instance, this is a spreadsheet representing insect counts that were taken every few days over the summer. And things went something like this. The dates were interpreted differently than what was actually the input. Entering dates in one cell is helpful, but due to the fact that the spreadsheet programs may interpret and save the data in different ways, there is a better practice. In dealing with dates in spreadsheets, you have to separate data into separate fields, day, month, year, which will eliminate any chance of ambiguity. Next slide. I'd also like for you to try out um, retrieving or pulling out um, our minute and second out of the current time. And so I would like for you to retrieve the current time and date using the now function. It's the same method, but we will type equals to the word now open bracket, close bracket, enter. Okay. I guess there isn't enough space, so I have to drag it along so that it shows exactly what I, so that it shows the values. Already, I, I did it earlier here, and so the formula is still the same as the one that I have here. So it changes on its own automatically because I'd, I'd done this much, much earlier to test it out for myself before I actually started recording myself. And as you can see, it's giving, still giving me the exact time now because um, it is current. It's, it's giving me the current time and the current date. And then if we want to check for... current date, we can just go and type today without the time. So that's going to give you the date. And then if you type in now, it's going to give you the date, including the time. If we type in today, we will only see the date. However, now the exercises that we mean to do here is we are meant to extract the year, the month, and the day from this date, right? So I'll go ahead again and um, type in, let me go here, year, month, day. We're using the same method we used in the previous exercise. And so we'll go equals to sign and then type in the word year, open bracket, click on the cell.
because we're wanting, we're retrieving the year, month, and day for this date. Close cell. And as you can see, it's producing 2021. I'll do the same for month equals to. I'll type in the word month, open brackets. I click on the cell, G18, close brackets, enter. And then I'll try it again here for day equals to sign. Type in the word day, open brackets, and I click on the cell, close brackets, voila still giving me the same thing 29 04 2021 Please note that I'm now going to show you how to save this in CSV format, which is comma separated value. Um, firstly, I'm going to double click here so that you see that it's actually, it actually does show us the 2015. However, it does not reflect on the cell. Only when you double click does it reflect on the cell. Now we move along, so we'll go to save. Save as. Save in. And then I'll go to CSV, comma, delimited. And then I'll Click on save. Notice that this will say save only the active sheets and I'll click OK because I only want this sheet dates tab to be saved. And then I'll say yes. And then I will close this and open it up. in plain text and just for you to have a look. Here we are again. So I'm going to open it up. As you can see, it is comma separated values. So open this in plain text, open with notepad. And this is what it's showing me. I can't read this, as you can see. I can't make out what it means, what any of this means. So And there's no year, um, even though I can't read it, but I noticed that it's just month, day. And then there's no year, except for the stuff that I filled out that was still, that, that was on that sheet. And it's a 2021 bit, the one that I did it with the now and the today. Otherwise, the data that, that was already there does not have the year, but we had it initially on the Excel sheet, as well as the um, 
comma separated value. Now I'm gonna right click the same file and open it in Excel. And see how it has changed everything again. It's no longer how it how it looked like initially. So as you can see when we when we were speaking about ensuring that we keep track of the changes because each time you open a file in a different format, it keeps changing. So at least if you have your backup and if you have your raw data available, you can always go back to it and see um, where you went wrong and try to rectify those errors or those inconsistencies. So you can play around this as well and just have a look and see what you can find.